when god's servant samson was anointed by the holy spirit enemy caught him where he is weak where is where are you weak you are maybe some people long for love though you have wonderful husband wonderful wife wonderful children the enemy will come in the name of love in the name of affection in the name of and you are gone a few words of appreciation oh you look beautiful oh you look handsome oh the way you talk is wonderful i really admire you oh i have never seen a person like you 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 are fit for everything even few words tries to just to throw yourself to somebody else we are living in such a world because whatever the bible says whatever the seed is put it will sprout because our mind is like the field so we have to take care we are not fighting against the flesh and blood even if somebody disturbs you if somebody makes you angry be alert to the truth it is not we are not fighting with the flesh and blood we are not fighting with the human persons it is the enemy enters into the life of human persons and he attacks us that's why the holy spirit gives three gifts and knowledge understanding and wisdom knowledge means now you are uh, andy is saying father you are looking nice okay so i get a message that i look nice then immediately the holy spirit will take me tell me okay i am looking nice means i am presentable they are thinking that i am presentable uh, i am looking okay uh, i am maybe they are happy that ex- they express their happiness in this way i begin to understand which she has not spoken but then the holy spirit tells me something my son just to looking don't be upset don't be carried away that you are looking no what is your mission you are here to give word of god be faithful to the purpose for which i have sent he gives the wisdom knowledge from knowledge you begin to understand what is really happening to you and wisdom is what what with what is happening to me my god tells me what i am what i am supposed to be where am i going what's happening to me from the perspective of from the light of god from the light of heaven i begin to understand wisdom so we are not fighting against flesh and blood but we have to carry the knowledge the understanding and wisdom of the holy spirit to handle our life that's why there are so many things we can do we are supposed to do to protect our mind our thoughts that the enemy doesn't attack us to protect our thoughts from the thought of the enemy from the attack of the enemy to keep our head safe what we need to do that's why he says you need to wear the various instruments to fight against the enemy and we have no time to explain all that but we explain one thing that is connected with our head connected with our thoughts that is we read in ephesians 6:17 wear the helmet of salvation so you need to protect your head you need to protect your thought life you need to protect it your head from the helmet of salvation what is this salvation salvation is of five things number 1 salvation is man is sent into the world in god's image in god's goodness so all that of god is part of man so today even today if he is aware of his presence in the lord and raises his hands healings will take place because the body is alive and active in us his not only 
I have my body. Not only I have my soul, but I also have something of God. As we read in the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 27, the spirit of man is the lamb of God. It reveals everything. It shows everything. As I am here, suddenly the Holy Spirit will talk to me. Where I am going, son, this is not the thing you are supposed to speak. You know from inside you hear. The human spirit will always listen to God's spirit and guide our soul and our body. I am a soul. I have a body. This body will be here and it will go away one day. But this body and soul has to belong to God. So God gives us the human spirit, which we call it the breath of God or the life of God, whatever you call it. Now you cut your hand, it is getting wounded, but the breath in me will heal this. If the breath is not there, the wound will continue to become decayed. It is the breath of God that makes me move to be alive. So it's the breath of God that gives life to soul and to the body. And it is in the breath of God, when the breath of God takes the body and soul to God, Holy Spirit himself joins with us. As we read in Romans 8, 14, the Holy Spirit joins with our human spirit and we begin to cry, Abba, Father. We begin to hear. It is this, this is the Lamb of God which tells us, shows light on our life, shows light for our thinking. So salvation means, number one, who am I in the Lord? I am created. How am I created? At the same time, I am aware, as we read in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 15 says, if you are not alert, your body will pull even your soul to the earth, to the down. And as we read in the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 27 that each one of us one day we have to stand before God and answer to God. So the salvation means who am I in the Lord? Who am I in the Lord? Body, mind and spirit. Second, God loved us though he created us with this spirit to relate with him the enemy came in my life and he led man into sin. So, having fallen into sin, man experiences the wages of sin. That is the death. The wages of sin is the death. It affects man. It takes away all that God has given to him. Maybe the spiritual death. You don't feel like praying. You want to pray, but the moment you begin to pray, you feel sleepy. You feel upset. Some other thought comes and you takes away your prayer life. You are not able to pray. Spiritual death. Physical death. You are okay, suddenly you feel tired. You are disturbed. You are not able to do anything. You are okay, you have eaten well, you have slept well. But suddenly, you feel tired. The attack of the enemy. Most of the time when it's said, you continue to praise God. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We worship you. you. You don't feel like even getting up. You feel like going and sleeping. But you say, kneel down. Jesus, in your name, I praise you. Thank you. Worship you, Lord. Cast, I cast away the enemy from me. Within no time, that will go away. The enemy attacks. It changes our mood. It changes our thinking. Yes. Physically, we become tired. We become headache stomach ache, all kinds of problems. You go to the doctor, nothing is wrong, they say. But you are still attacked. Attack of the enemy. The wages of sin is death. Physical death. Economical death. You yearn, nothing remains with you. Everything goes. You yearn, even lacks, it goes away. Nothing remains with you. Because the enemy has, through your sin, the enemy has entered into us. Through our sin, the enemy enter into us and being in us, what is the most needed, the finance, he will cut off. Simply eat it up. Financial death, emotional death, family death, 
husband and wife simply they fight for what reason no reason once the husband and wife came like that simply we are fighting only hitting is left out now <laughs> that's what they were saying but there is no reason for what we are fighting both of us are having good children both of us have a good earning both of us are having everything good for why should we fight we don't know but we fight then when i was praying the lord showed me that they are addicted to pornography and through pornography the evil thoughts enter into their head and without their knowledge it makes them to fight with each other i asked him did you involve in watching blue films and pornography and all these things yes father not only that i allowed my wife also showed her are why no i want to learn something new what you want to learn that which is dirty that which is not of god that which is unnatural that which is designed by the enemy to destroy the minds and families that is the way enemy will teach you and they repented for their sin they threw away all those things they went and wiped away rubbed up everything from their system and then they repented for this and made a good confession next to it behold they came i was surprised they came for english retreat then they came for the telugu retreat within 15 days i said what happened father the day we went away from here con- committing confessing our sin from that day onwards we are peaceful we are no more fighting we are not able to understand yes the enemy sows the seed of dirt and through which the enemy enters into sin and through sin he fights with us economical death family death physical death uh, and spiritual death all kinds of death but then salvation means though we are sinner third we have a savior 